Paramore's Haley Williams is one of the most beloved figures in the music community and for good reason. Her music through Paramore has touched tens of millions, surely hundreds of millions of fans around the world, and they've made a really positive impact on folks. And Haley Williams, for one, though, did not have a positive experience when it comes to the Vans Warped Tour and some of her earlier touring opportunities in the rock world in particular, and she has expressed as much in a new interview in Vulture. Uh, this is uh, featured and quoted in uh, over at Note to Scene. I've linked to them in the description of this article. Great new site, Note to Scene. Check them out. I've been on their podcast. Shout out to my boy, Tyler. What's up? So, uh, all right. So she talks about that the band was really more so into the heavier realm of stuff before their, their single Pressure came out, which was going to make them more emo-centric. Uh, but they were more like trying to be more Deftones style. Uh, and she says, The first time we got Warp Tour offered in 2005, I'd been waiting, I'd never attended, was too young, wasn't allowed. The guys and I didn't listen to pop punk before writing Pressure. We listened to heavier stuff like Deftones. We wanted to be darker. Suddenly we wrote Pressure and that was it. We were going to write Emo Bop. Sick. I'm psyched that happened. But suddenly, the type of attention we were getting was different. I did not know how toxic that world could be, talking about the emo fandom. She goes on to say, the pop punk and emo scene in the early 2000s, it was brutally misogynistic. A lot of internalized sexism, and even when you were lucky enough to meet other bands who were kind and respectful, there was other shit that wasn't, and I was really feisty. We got offered Warp Tour, and there was a caveat. It was a stage called the Shira Girl stage. It's all female. I was pissed. I wanted to qualify for a real stage. She added, when I've been offered female opportunities, it feels like a backhanded compliment. But people sometimes think that it's anti-feminist, that I don't want to be grouped in with the girls. As a 16-year-old who had dreams of playing with the big boys, it felt like we were short-sighted. That summer we went out, and I'll never forget it, we played in For Florida, and the stage was a truck that had a flatbed on it. It was so flimsy that it would shake and fall apart. There might have been one other female band on tour, and people were gawking. I don't think in a pervy way, they were confused, like... What's in this for me? What's she singing about? I'm a guy. How can I relate? She says that that ended up led her to led her to stop writing with certain pronouns that would make men think that the songs were only for women, and she tried to be more inclusive in the messaging of the music, sort of changed the way she wrote. She also said that Warp fans threw condoms that they got from one of the tour sponsors, Trojan, on stage while she was performing. My gosh. She then talks about... Uh, meeting a band that uh, she was on tour with, had a good relationship with the band, uh, said that these the, the band did nothing wrong, but the band was hanging out with a friend, an individual, who uh, she says, I can't remember what the guy said because I saw Red so fast, but he referred to my pussy. I was literally 16, about to turn 17. Everyone was laughing. No one paid attention. I was like, why do you think it's cool to refer to my pussy? But John was so pissed. She talks about John Nolan from Taking Back Sunday. Once I spoke about how I felt into existence, it was like I created a vacuum. Oh, yeah, that's not okay, she said. I was so much bolder when the opportunity arose for me to speak up for myself because the internet wasn't what it was today. Only two years later, I became pretty silenced. Haley Williams is currently promoting her new project, Pedals for Armor, her solo project, and it's going to be released in three parts, but will be out entirely on May 8th. Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you all very soon.